I've come here at night at this old church to tell a, a, spook, a spooky story that I remember was that I was told years ago. I don't know how much this camera is going to pick up at night, um, but I thought thought I'd come here at night. You never know; you might catch a ghost or something. Don't know if I don't get it interrupted. Um. Anyways, part of a story is, far as I can remember, is um. There's a man, and he was mad at this church for some reason, and supposedly when he, he tried to curse them or something, and supposedly ever so often he shows up here at this church. The The story I'm going to tell you about is um, there's a girl that lived in this area, and she was either walking home or walking to her um, friend's house, and, um, and she passed by this church, and she said when she got about halfway, um, in front of this church, she looked over, and she seen a man sitting on these steps, I said he was dressed in white and he was pale and he had his hand um his, his face in his hands and he just watched her and as she walked past through here um he didn't move didn't say nothing didn't do nothing he just watched her pass and she said she got a little bit further up and a dog started barking so the dogs wasn't barking at the man on the steps but they started barking at her. So, I was going to see what I could see here tonight. And, um, see what comes up around here. if we see anybody sitting on these steps. Another story I can tell about this place is one year, me, my brother, and two of my cousins come here in a car, and we're sitting about right in this area right here, and there used to be a big tree where this little one is. And um, we sat here for a little while, and all of a sudden... Something hit the front end of the, of the car, you know, boom! And we was all, oh no, what's going on? And we started to get out of here, and I, I think the car wouldn't start at first. But then all of a sudden, it started up. And we got out of here. But so far, I don't see no one on the steps. And here comes the car, so I'll have to watch it. I know. Anyways, I thought I would tell this story and film this and see what I could see here. And let's see if I can conjure up a ghost, conjure up the man. Um, but yeah, we were sitting here and we heard that big boom in the front of the car, like it sounded like someone hit it and we got out of here. So far I haven't heard anything or seen anything yet, but the, but it's hard to see at night anyways. I need a better camera with night vision or something just to see if we can see something but I don't see no one here right now anyways I thought I'd come over here and 
show this, tell the story about that girl who might have seen it. If no car comes down through here, I might can get an angle of what she may have seen. But this camera don't pick up very good at night time. Let's see. <clears throat> but here, pretty big graveyard, but you can't see, I know. But I was hoping maybe something. But anyway, she would be, well, you can't see nothing. But anyways, I'll walk over here on the road. Hopefully nobody comes through here and runs me over. But I guess she would be walking down through here and probably would look up here like this. And when she got back out in this area, she probably seen the man sitting on the church steps. But right now, I don't see nothing. But she would have seen him right there. Anyways, I better get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, that's another story, and more to come as I, you know, think of them and go, some places I'll be able to go to, maybe some places I can't, but anyways, I'll catch you in the next story.